So keep in mind that most of my focus is doing uh, evening entertainment where it's in front of everyone. <laughs> I want to make sure that I can connect with people beforehand. And so one of the things that I do that a lot of people don't do is I will meet and greet people just yeah. to build some rapport. Because one of the things that hypnosis brings up is a bit of a fear or right. anticipation. So I'm breaking the ice that way. So I'm setting the tone that way. And then once I step on stage, because I've done these routines so many times, I've done them so many times, that I know what the routines are. Yeah. Now, if it's entertainment, I don't have to vary it much. If, if there's a keynote there and they want me to say talk about okay stepping out of your comfort zone or playing a bigger game or performing better because peak performance is usually the umbrella that it lies on then I'll have to craft it more and the first 20 minutes is is I'm doing what I usually do but uh, adjusting it to what their outcomes are right so I'm not going to vary a ton I've got this this formula of here it is and here's the first 20 minutes and I'll just put it in there and then once I get people up there, a big part of, you know, even my keynote, it's an interactive keynote performance where the people that come up on stage, those are the people that I really want to make sure that I get that group of people that I can work with because those are the ones that are going to be performing for everyone else. Right. So it's almost like you have these building blocks. Yeah. And you have all these building blocks and you've been doing it so long, you're really comfortable with all of them. And then when you get there to entertain or do a keynote, then you just you just need to organize them the way you want, connect with the audience, yeah. and off you go. Yep. Yeah, that's simplifying it in a way where, you know, some sometimes I take this one out. Right. Right. And I put that together. If, for instance, I have a, a person up on stage that really is illustrating the points that I want and the messaging, then that might stand out more, right? So yeah, yeah it's 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 bits and pieces, blocks where I can um, definitely build, a build a show. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's how it goes. A lot of times, you know, I think people say, well, should I just wing it or should I just do it? Well, winging it means that you don't really know what you're doing uh, and it's coming from the heart. And that's great, but a lot of times that's a default. Like in my experience is that, you know, in a Broadway performance, do they wing it? No. No. Um, and I know that we're not a Broadway performance, the element, though, and the and the foundation of us doing it time and time and time and time again is the same as a Broadway production. And a Broadway production goes into rehearsals. Right. And they do those things over and over and over. So if we can take one thing from that performance mold, it's rehearse. It's it's practice it. it it's get get it, get the mess out on stage so, so then it becomes so fine-tuned. You could do it in your sleep. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Can't even feel my to be what's going on now that you're gone